in your school you all must have seen the notice board isn't it girls now that's a very foolish thing to ask but truly speaking it is on this notice board that all the important notices related to the school curriculum are displayed which informs you all regarding some important matters now what do we actually mean by a notice or what is the purpose of a notice purpose of a notice we have come to already know that it informs us or announces or displays to us any information or regarding any important matters now what do we actually or how can we actually define what a notice is so let's go to the formal definition of a notice a notice announces orders places an appeal or an invitation and even warns us so in fact you might say guys that it is a very effective means of communication yes this is a very modern and effective means of communication now we often tell the students to go through the notice board or uh, related to the matters regarding the examination or cultural activities fundraising and even the do's and the don'ts that a student should follow so we can all agree that uh, a notice really plays a very important factor as a medium of communication now in this class we are going to know about how to write a notice related to various curriculum of the school okay now before i go to how to write a notice i would like to share with you the salient features of a notice there are certain features of a notice the first one is that it must be very short in second one it must be very formal it cannot be written and in an essay form no one will have the patience to go through a notice if it is written as a paragraph or as a huge essay isn't it so it has to be very short only the necessary things should be informed over there and it must be very formal it must be very direct also and it should have all the relevant information like time date place etc number 4 is that when you are giving the information through a notice it should go step by step okay that is very important right the language should be very simple but attractive it should be that everyone understands it and that everyone has the interest to go through it and remember girls always that a heading should be given what are you writing the notice on or what notice are you giving so there should be a heading for it number 7 is that it must be signed by the person who is issuing the notice now that is also very important who is actually giving the notice and that person or that authority has to sign it and his designation should also be given passive voice is usually used in a notice and you have all gone through active and passive voice so you know how a notice can be written in a passive voice and in a notice here future tense is generally used so be very careful of that usually when we ask you to write question answers we say use your past tense but in case of a notice uh, the future tense is usually or generally used long sentences are also often used in a notice right so 
be very careful of these points while you are writing a notice first is that a very brief one second that you have all the detailed information that is very important for everyone to know is given in a notice and you cannot skip any point over there if you are given in your board exam to write a notice you will find that they have given you the points as date time place like that and each and every point you have to touch it and the marks is allotted just like that if you write the time properly the date properly the place properly so every point has an allotted marks so do not skip any one point and remember about the heading that is also very important the designation of the person who is issuing the uh, notice and the last two things that is important is that as we have said that grammatically you have to use the passive voice and your future tense is also to be used is it clear now first we'll go for the institutional notice now an institution may be required to issue different kinds of announcements isn't it there are different uh, curriculum in an institution so it requires to issue different types of announcement and then such as announcement regarding tools film shows magic shows functions supply of some articles anything it can be anything and uh, these are in the form of new notice usually displayed on the notice board and in such notices some common common language is found okay it is written in a formal style and naturally it is very brief straightforward and clear so that the students can understand each and every word of it and the formal usual openings are like this is to notify or you can start with it is hereby notified or you can write students are hereby notified informed or notified so you start a notice uh, to be given to the students just like that now here as is a notice given on the um, slide that you might find that a notice for the uh, participants of the next tour so as a group captain of the educational tour team of your school you have to issue a notice so what are the things you would uh, tell them um, tell the students about the first thing that comes to our mind is where you are going for the tour right the place of visit the second thing that is very important is when you are leaving and the time of your return the things that the students should carry along with them isn't it these are the little little things that you have to uh, write down and think about that what is actually linked to when i'll be giving a notice uh, for a tour from the school the date okay the requirement of uh, certificates okay from your guardian so uh, approval letter or a certificate from your guardian and uh, these things if you frame it one after the other you will see that the notice is truly formed so i'll be giving you an example of how to write a notice based on the theme that you will be issuing a notice for the participants for a tour that is that the school is going to organize okay the next one that we have is information if you want want to give some information to the or pass down some information to the students uh, sometimes uh, such notices of general inf general information are issued to the students of an educational institutions okay now such notices generally start with 
the members are hereby informed got it girls the members are hereby informed or you can start with it is for your information that and also students are hereby informed so the student the thing starts with these type of sentences here also uh, you will find that i have given an example of how you can write a, a notice regarding such a topic now the third thing is that um, in a society beset with problems okay and that is social cultural and political now students have great responsibilities over here you people have very big responsibility regarding the society that you are living in so if you want to render a notice then how will you do that um, because uh, you are the people who should take active part in removing the problems of the society so you are appealing over there you are requesting over there you are requesting the residents of your locality or the students of your school to keep the environment clean and certain things like that uh now educational uh, institutions often make appeals to the students in the form of notices and uh, it generally starts on a very serious note pointing to the gravity of the situation yes girls pointing to the gravity of the situation and this is very this is not a light thing you are sharing your responsibility or you are making the people aware of their responsibility so you know the importance of all these uh, situations when you have to come forward when the natural calamities strike now usually an appeal goes in the form of you all know that okay or you can begin with you are all aware of the fact that or um you can frame it as it is known to all that you can start with sentences like this here also you have been given a uh, uh, an example that as the secretary of the students association of your school how to write a notice uh, requesting the students to come forward to help the distress people of the flood affected areas in north bengal so how you are going to frame that how you are going to write that is given in your slide i hope that will be of great help to you and in writing further another notice that we have said another function of the notice that we have talked about before is that a notice sometimes serves the purpose of an invitation right remember in the very beginning i said so that a notice sometimes uh, serves the purpose of an invitation it may invite members to a meeting okay and uh, it may invite articles also for a magazine now every almost every school publishes an annual magazine at the end of the year right and here you might invite articles from the students the manuscripts from the students for a magazine school magazine so how are you going to write that you are inviting students over there so how are you going to publish that notice passive voice sentences and the future tense of the verbs are used now in this form of notice uh, certain words and verbs may be very helpful like annual bilingual contribute manuscript originality freshness similarity lucidity these words you might find yes you have to apply them if you want to uh, write an invitation uh, for, for the students to contribute for their annual magazine and the verbs that are used are um, is hereby informed or is going to be published are willing 
will be accepted please be careful and see the tense because you will find it all in the future tense is expected will be returned so be careful here girls of the words and the spellings because when you write bilingual or when you write manuscript or when you write annual you might get wrong in the spellings and uh, the be careful of the tense too here too i have uh, given a slide of how you should write right girls when you are uh, inviting students or requesting to the students that you are going to publish its annual or bilingual magazine and you being the chief student editor of the school you are uh, inviting contributions from the students so how are you going to give that notice to the students and the last one that we are going to deal with today is that um, uh, this is not too much of importance but i'm just saying it over here that it is about uh, a warning or for an impending danger now a notice sometimes gives a warning to the people isn't it like suppose uh, diseases like cholera typhoid which uh, may spread in your locality so you can understand that the times are not good and it might uh, get uh, people might get affected over there in your locality so before, from beforehand you are issuing a notice issuing a notice warning the people against the impending dangers now such a notice starts with you are all aware that okay Uh, such a notice always starts with you are all aware that so the thing is that uh, notice is hereby given to all concerned that or you might say that um, yes you can start it just like that and you might you might end by by order notices like this Uh, these must also end with by order okay so if you have to issue a notice warning members of the public against the diseases uh, you have to notify the steps that has to be followed to prevent or uh, preventive measures that has to be taken uh, to prevent these sort of diseases and how are you going to write that Uh, here too uh, an example has been given of how you are going to issue a notice warning against the impending danger to the people in your locality or the students of your school so how are you going to write that now for today um, i think that uh, if you can handle these various and these various uh, categories of notice then it's more than enough and you have to practice it in this way the more you practice it the more you will be better off and the i have already dealt with i think i have already dealt with institutional and then the information then the appeal and the invitation to and the last one when one was warning so these are the various kinds of notices that you might get for your question paper and i'll be giving you one or two uh, um, notices to write it on your own girls the first one you might find is that um, you are the secretary of a local club your club has taken up a tree plantation project so write a notice for the notice board of your club requesting the members to take part in the arrange program you may include the following points number 1 is date and time of the program number 2 is place of assembly number 3 is duration of the program number 4 things to be taken with them number 5 is 
what they should do during the program. So you can practice that, this at home and be careful of your format. The slides will show you that how you are to write a notice, right? That is why the slides have been given over there. The examples have been given over there that how, what language or the tense or how you are going to be brief and constructive in writing a notice. So be careful of your format because your format contains two marks over there. And for your subject, there is four marks over there. So be careful of this very thing. The other one you can have as a notice to be given is that an excursion to Sub Sundarban. An excursion to Sundarban has been arranged for class 9 students. Suppose you are the school captain. Write a notice announcing the excursion, the date and the time of departure charges and duration, place where they should assemble, things to be taken with them, time of return. The notice should be countersigned by the headmaster or headmistress. So these are the two notices and you will find a number of other notices given in your Dafandar. Please do go through them. Please do practice them because writing skill contains a lot of marks in your paper, in your English question paper for the boards. So if you do not practice it well, you might find it difficult to tackle it later on. So for now, goodbye and thank you.